Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! I welcome you to another episode of Change Life Talk with Pastor O. Change Life Talk with Pastor Opie. Uh, we have a lot of women who have changed, you know, coming in contact with them. We have seen lives actually change, practically change. I pray that today's episode will touch your life. And you know, you will meet people who will share their practical stories of how God touched them and they changed. ordinary women that are becoming every day extraordinary. They are extraordinary because they are women who have decided to submit their lives to the Holy Spirit indeed. And they are called spirit-filled women. It's not all about speaking in tongues. It's not all about going to church. There's a statement that says, no matter how long you keep a basin in the garage, it will never become a car. So you might sit in church until you decide to come under the Lordship of the Holy Spirit. Your life will not make a meaning to eternity. So this afternoon, I want to say a big thank you to those who are sharing the broadcast. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for inviting people. Thank you, most importantly, for changing. The Lord bless you. I want you to go ahead and share this broadcast. Can you go ahead and call your sister, call your brother to be on this program? God bless you as you do it. Child of God, the Bible says, that our lives is like beholding Christ in a mirror and adjusting ourselves to be like him. A Christian's life is supposed to be, you know, the path of a Christian, the just, is supposed to be brighter and brighter, shining brighter and brighter. We are not supposed to be at a place for a long time. Therefore, there's something about you Paul could boldly say, follow me as I follow Christ. Can you say that to somebody? Can you actually live your life in such a way that you will be imitated, you will be copied? Today in the studio, I want to introduce these three amazing women. They are amazing because the Bible says, let your beauty not be the outward adorning alone. Let it be the inner beauty of a meek and a quiet spirit. And every day we keep arranging the inner self that we have. Arrange it. I'm talking to somebody. Arrange your inner self. Waiting. When you are expecting a visitor, when you are expecting a guest, you keep arranging and preparing. And we are awaiting his coming. Jesus said, I'm coming. And I'm coming with a gift in my hand to reward those who have done well. What are you doing? And so I introduce here one beautiful woman who is a B.Tech graduate in applied ecology with master's degree in envir environmental resource planning. An avid fashion designer, she looks it and creative director of the brand My Designer Place. I love that. <laughs> she is also a skincare therapist and an ambassador of the brand Delicious Beauty. Wow! <laughs> Delicious Beauty Legacy. She's married to Mr. Lee Nyangba and they are blessed with four amazing children. You don't look like that. Please, I want you to meet Sister Awazi Lee Iyagwa. 
Thank you very much, oh, Mama. Oh, it's so good to have you here. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> it's an honor to be here. Mm. It's a privilege. Um, I just want to thank you, Ma. Thank God. For answering this call. Glory, to glory, start glory the to WP. Yeah. I, I remember the first time I had the one-on-one -on -one, um, opportunity to talk to you. That was mm. the only thing I told you. Um, we went for a program gaining momentum for um, like a leadership training and you were one of the speakers and afterwards I was like I just joined the WWP um, newly that time mm -hmm. and I walked up to you I was like I wanted to see you and because people were seeing you for, for counseling and I said ma I just want to thank you mm -hmm. because of you I have I know that I would remain mar married wow. because before I came to the WWP I really used to feel that one day I would just wake up and I wouldn't be able to stay married again because I thought I was a Christian when I, I got married but dealing with um, being submissive, you know, sometimes you're right but the husband says, talks you down, tells you why did you even talk like this? And it was just difficult, you know, and I struggled with my marriage for a couple of years and then I came to the WWP. I remembered when my friend OJ first invited me. I told her, I can't come for fellowship. <laughs> what kind of fellowship holds on a Tuesday morning when people are going to work? And she just smiled. She was like, it would be good to come. It's really interesting. I couldn't come. But like four years down the line or thereabouts, another of my friend, Deborah in um, Guagalada now, she spoke to me about it and I just got up and told my husband please there's this fellowship I want to attend and he was like what is it all about I said just women gathering to pray he was like okay and I called OJ sent her a message when she didn't pick what time is fellowship she told me sent me an address and I went there mm. and when worship started prayers came the word came oh there was mm. a there was a lifting in my spirit. I was broken. I cried. That day I dedicated my life to Christ. And I just knew that, okay, I'd come to a solution ground. Mm. And since then, it has been from one glory to another to another. I just want to thank you, Ma. Thank God. I just want to thank, thank you, Ma. God. I remembered it was then, it was only um, our, our mama, Pastor Rosalind, that would preach. And then after service, I would tell Uji, wow, this, and she would be like, cool down, don't worry. <laughs> Mama, Mama, oh, we we'll talk one of these days. I'm like, no, with what I'm hearing, I, I don't think there will be anything better. Uh -huh. And I remember the first day we did, was it communion or so, that mm. we connected and mm. you were talking and I was laughing. I was taking notes. Sometimes I would cry because of some very sensitive things, very simple things you would say that it would be like, you're talking to me directly. Mm, 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 and mm. since then, I have picked on little things you have said don't be too sensitive don't carry your your emotions on your sleeve <laughs> and they have helped me mm. they, they have helped me so i'm really grateful Thank for god. this opportunity Thank ma god. it's so it's so good to hear these testimonies of lives that have changed that are ready to actually you know submit to the holy spirit you know one of us said something she said i am now a kingdom girl you know, there are a lot of Christians, but there are no kingdom people. There are few kingdom people, just like many are called, but few are chosen. You know, everybody is called. You are called to come, but they choose you by how you are adapting. Then the, the choosing begins. Will you be chosen? I'm asking. All right. Right on my right hand side too, I have this amazing woman that you know has a very beautiful voice do you know that ah! <laughs> she is a sociologist from the university of abuja she is she's been married for 17 years you don't look that she's the md of pensha global creation limited amazing i want you to meet sister patient obwekwe <laughs> Mm -hmm. want to thank you for your smile. Your oh, oh, thank God. Mm. Mm. 
thank God, we thank God, we thank God. Me has fireized me like mm. your slogan is know God for yourself. Yeah, yeah, so I've been able yeah. to know God for myself. I don't wait for collective, let's come together and pray for something, let's mm, come together mm, and look for a solution. Mm, I've mm. been able to work out my own salvation with fear and that trembling. Is that is I used to be a very temperamental person. The will of changed me. I don't mm. make excuses for people. That mm. was one of my flaws. Mm. Like I just assume you should know what to do at part time. You shouldn't wait for me to tell you what to do. And mm. it was affecting my relationship with people around my siblings. They dread to come to my house. They be like, Adani, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you be on the edge in her house, like you mop. She be like, no, no, you should have done it like this and everything. But WP has helped me that people, they, people living in my house, sometimes they'll be like, ah, what happened? They would do something they know I should be angry. They're looking mm -hmm. at me, I'll just come up like, okay. Oh, you didn't do it. You should have just done it like this. Why mm -hmm. don't you do it? But it will work better this way. And then they'll be like, ah. when I pass, my siblings, when they visit now, they'll be telling my people in my house, people are lucky, like. <laughs> you are in my sister's house and she's not shouting. We are not hearing her scream. Mm. And then the WWE has made, helped me to love the unlovable. Mm. You know how people, some people that are so difficult, I've had some people that have stayed with me, like you know that they are deliberately stepping on your toes and mm. expecting you to react. But you look at them and you just walk past and you'll be like, it's mm. well, I'll make an excuse. And somebody up by the side is looking and be like, why are you, can you let go? Why you should have, huh? mm. I was I'll be like, mm. it's a temporal thing. This person will soon leave yeah. my house. It's okay. And then I'm moving and, it has helped my relationship with God. It's funny how I joined WWP. Actually, it was a friend that dragged me because uh, she's been inviting me for like two years or more. And each time she talks, I'd be like, Tuesday morning? No, 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 no. I have to go and walk. <laughs> and then she had a document I needed for a thunder submission. Mm. And she had to come with it because she knew I was come and get it from fellowship. And then when she came, when I came, I was calling her. I was outside. I was calling and calling. She wasn't hearing, apparently because of the worship going on. And then that's how I came to love the song, Power Belongs to You. That was the wow. song. That was the first day it made meaning to me. When I came, I was sitting outside the smallest market mm. there. And then I was stamping. I was like, why is she taking too long to come? But in the process, they started the worship session. I was just stamping my feet. And then I got drowned in the worship. I got lost. And I forgot I was even outside. I was sitting by myself. They even came mm. come. I said, no, no, no. Then we used to have two services. That was like seven years ago. And then I, at a point she was calling, I wouldn't even hear her because I ended up finishing the service. And then when she came out, she was like, ah, tender is closing by 12 years. I said, don't worry, we'll do the tender submission. Mm -hmm. And I, my life has been changed. Wow. My husband can confidently tell me, honey, pray about this thing. Mm -hmm. And because I know I must get results. Hey. And then the result comes. Even yesterday he was telling someone, the person was telling him about something. He said, ah, let me tell my wife to pray for you. Wow. I have a prayer machine at home. <laughs> and, then, and then he will come and say, honey, pray about this thing Massive. and then I pray and then God just brings the answer Massive. and my home has just been beautiful wow. as in it's been awesome it's been a my mom everyone is like ah, what happened everyone can see the change everyone my in-laws it's been awesome it's oh. been beautiful and I just want to thank God for you ma for yeah. answering this call you had me it was because of me God oh, called oh, you because oh, oh. my life has changed Things don't move me like it used to before. Little things get to me, like I don't have money in my bag, I'm angry, I'm irritated, but now I just trust God and I know God will pull you me will through. Do it. Yes, Come and on. it's been amazing. Thank you so much. That Ma. is a Christian. That is a Christian. She has preached a whole message. Mm. This is a sermon. She said she used to be temperamental. There are so many temperamental Christians. They speak in tongues, they pray, but if they show you, you will know yourself. And they are out there watching. That's why I need you to share this broadcast. Please share it. I know you watching, you are, you are changing. Please share it to somebody that will change. We have a lot of Christians who are struggling with their character. And right at my left hand side here, there's another amazing woman. She's a graduate of English language. That's my area. <laughs> with a, PD, a PGD in education. That's the one I was trying to do. <laughs> Addiction expert. Wow. I love that. You <laughs> teach me. An entrepreneur and happily married with three beautiful, cute wow. children. Please help me welcome Sister Ehi Paul Ajegui. <laughs> when Pastor Rosalind beckoned that I be here, mm. I did not oblige. Oh, wow. And she kept pressurizing. Mm. 
-hmm. I went to meet my leader, Mama Chi, and I told her, I said, I can't be there. <laughs> this was yesterday morning oh. during the prayer meeting. And she asked why. I said, I don't, I can't phantom how I was meant to sit yes. <laughs> on the same space with Pastor O. Oh, no, I can't, you know. And oh she encouraged God. me and asked that I be here. My experience in WWP has been quite phenomenal. Glory to the God. first time Glory I heard about, I used to be anti WWP. Whoa. Yes, just like Saul in the Bible. Mm. Because um, I was driving past around um, the Galadimawa roundabout and I saw an old schoolmate with a long skirt, a pink, pink t shirt tucked in. <laughs> you know, I passed pink through and I had to come back to her. And I back on that, I was. I said, Cynthia, come. And she came to me, she was sharing flyers. I said, what happened to you? Because I knew her way back at school mm. and all of that. She was different, you know? And she said, oh, I'm out on evangelism and all of that. I want to invite you to WWP. She gave me a flyer. I almost gave her something, but I was, okay, let me just go first. Immediately I drove past her. I just shouted blood of Jesus three times and I, Threw it out of my window. I said, wherever Cynthia is going to, that will make her look this way. God forbid, I won't be there. <laughs> oh my you know? God. And then afterwards, people kept inviting me, like randomly. I see people and they invite me to WWP. I'm like, that place that I saw an old school mate who used to be hot at school, and she was looking miserable. No, I'm not going there. Oh Unknown to me that she had evangelized all day under the sun, and she was tired and standing there wow. alone. You, you know, know has happened to me before. Oh. oh. Somebody <laughs> saw me, I was like, why are you looking like this? I was you, tired. You know, and afterwards, I have an aunt, and she told me, ah, okay, I have um, like an aunt to me, Pastor Rosalind mm. from uh, Kubwa. Mm. You know, so my aunt told me, Auntie Rosak is now a pastor. I said, Auntie Rosak, pastor, where? She said, WWP. I said, Jesus! So <laughs> Auntie, Auntie Rosak is going to become miserable, like, you know, so she, and she said, ah, I don't think it's that bad. I saw her, she was looking good. And I said, okay, let me go and see for myself. Oh, wow. And I went there. Mm. When I got there, the atmosphere was so captivating. Mm. Yes, it. You know, I went there, I, I went there as a born again. I wasn't an unbeliever. Mm. You know, I got there and I loved the place. And the uh, head of protocol wouldn't stop smiling at me. Mm. So I'm like, who is this one just smiling at me? You know, should I be comfortable or uncomfortable? And afterwards, <laughs> she came to me and she said, I wanted you to join protocol. I said, let me just go first. Mm -hmm. I'll get back to you. The next Tuesday, I, I found myself going back to Arlington, you know, for the fellowship. And I kept going. Mm -hmm. Now, I had an issue. I am a socialite. Mm -hmm. My husband never used to club before I met him. I introduced him to clubbing. Mm -hmm. We go out clubbing together and everything. So when I kept coming, uh, and I claimed I was born again, actually. Mm. When I came, kept coming, I became uncomfortable clubbing, mm. you know. Mm. And then I was trying, I was struggling between um, being the new me, the newly found me, because the first day I went, everybody were praying. Nobody laid hands on us. Mm. We were praying for ourselves. Yes. I was never used to that. Mm. If I see a cockroach in my house, I'll call a pastor. I saw uh, this. Uh, 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 uh. If my child is running temperature, I'll call a pastor. You know, so at my pastor, Pastor Rosling will say, you have to know God for yourself. Mm. Pray for yourself. Stop mm. running up and down. And I'm like, okay, let me start praying for myself. I started praying for myself, you know. And I was now struggling between being the new me and bringing back this man that I derailed. Mm. Because I was the one that introduced him to that life. Because when I stopped clubbing, he continued mm. clubbing. I know what that means. He's not going to club alone, mm -mm. you know? And then his friends would be like, ah, when I used to tell you this year post clubbing, I said, now I don't know what to do, you know? So, but I didn't want him to feel awkward. Mm. So sometimes when the music, I play the music at home and then I'm dancing, twerking, and then one day, of course, we talk a lot. I have a closely knitted relationship with my husband. You know, and we were talking. I played the music and I started dancing like we used to dance in the club. And he said, uh -uh. We thought this year WWP, I thought you had changed. Oh. I felt wow. embarrassed. I cried. 
because I felt I was stepping down to his level mm. to make him comfortable. I didn't know he admired the new me. Yeah. And there's something I used to do. Now, my parents had me after 16 years. Wow. I was born into an Islamic home. Wow. You know, so I, growing up, I had the luxury of my parents flowing with whatever decision I made. Mm. Now, I had um, step-siblings, you know, half-siblings. And right from secondary school, once they give us our uh, school fees, um, uh, 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 what, you know, docket for the school fees, mm. we inflate it. My okay. cousins, my older cousins would just inflate it, you know. So I grew up and my dad didn't have a problem with that. Mm. Even if he knew I was living in denial, mm -hmm. you know, mm. they would just give me the money and I used the money to do whatever I wanted to do. At the university, I continued with the same, now on a higher frequency. Mm. You know, I continued and when I got married, I carried this tench into my husband's house. Mm. You know, it got to a point, my children's school fees, I would double it for my husband mm. and he would pay. I was so corrupt in this and I was born again mm. all along. I, it was so bad that I would take the school fees docket, go to the computer center, mm. Retype another one, and now in the school, I met a cartel. I met other parents that were doing the same. So yes. even if I don't go, they will do it for me and, sh and just send to my house, or oh I'll send God. to their house. <laughs> and it was wonderful. And I, 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 um, the little lie inside of me had a justification for what I was doing. My husband is a very kind person. He will give everything, but there, some kind of luxury I wanted to have at home, he may not be disposed to it. I would take this money and ban. I'm like, okay, the money is coming back to the house, so it's not a big deal. I kept doing this, you know. So when I joined the protocol department, you know, when you're with God, when you have God in you, mm. naturally, this Just. will shift. Yes. Mm. You know, so I went to my leader's house that they were God talking, and somehow, I don't know, I told her I've been uncomfortable about something I've been doing for a long time. I don't know why I'm uncomfortable. And I shared with her. And she started laughing. Sister Chichi of a protocol Kuba. Mm. She started laughing, you know, and I'm like, okay, so it's not that bad after all. So after <laughs> laughing, she said, you're going to stop and you're going to confess to your husband. Mm. I said, <laughs> oh, you want to? <laughs> you know, I was like, you want me to confess to my husband? You want to chase me out of my husband's house? I will never do that. She said, I insist, you have to stop and you will confess to your husband. I said, I won't stop. It will be difficult to stop. How will I cope? You know, do you know how much like I was so inhuman? What I was mm. doing was, was so, so bad. You know, and she insisted that I stop. So the next time, she was following up on me. She would call me. She said, did you do it again? And all of that, I'm like, just leave me alone. And she said, you must stop, you know. And it was so easy walking, uh, walking with her. She made Christianity so easy for mm. me. Like, she, she loves life. We'll go to her house. We'll play. We'll still crack jokes. And she doesn't make it hectic. And in every joke, she drops something, mm -hmm. you know? You know, mm -hmm. sometimes I'm a very, very opinionated person. Mm. And I address issues. No matter who you are, if I'm uncomfortable about something you've done, I will address it. And she just look at me. Sometimes I'll tell her, I say, Mama Chi, today I will address this issue. I'm not going to just say, choose your battles wisely. Mm. Mm. So that kept ringing a bell in my oh, head. Sticky. I'm like, okay. I don't have all the energy for all the unnecessary battles. Let me be choosing wisely and all of that, you know. And when I'm so upset, I'll call her and I'll rant to her, I'll rant, and she will give me listening. She will listen to me, and when she's done, she said, girl, choose your battles wisely. And she'll end the call. And I'm, I'll be, you're not even concerned. Do you understand how I feel? She'll call me again and tell me to come to her house. I'll go there and all of that. So she kept following up on this. Then I stopped. Mm -hmm. And how did I stop? I just, uh, the next time they gave uh, Furbish us with the children's school fees uh, teller, I quickly snapped it and forwarded it to my husband before mm -hmm. I changed my mind. Mm -hmm. And I called, I said, Mama Chi, I told him the actual school fees. She said, okay, now you're going to confess to him. So I went to my husband and he, he said, why is the school fees almost so half? What happened? Mm -hmm. The school, they've become so considerate. He was just talking and I looked at him. I said, the school fees didn't change. I've been inflating it. And he started laughing. He said, I know. Oh. Oh, I buried my head in shame. I said, you knew all along. He said, yes. Hmm. I said, okay, so why do you always give me the school fees all the same? He said he knew that one day I was going to change. Hmm. And the moment I told him I had started going for this fellowship that he's seen all of this, he knew I was going to change. Hmm. So I said, okay, I'm sorry. 
He said, no problem. Oh. And when he was going to send the school fees, he sent the other school fees I used to tell him to pay. Oh. I cried. Lord. I was so Jesus pained. You know, Lord. I felt so horrible and everything. And I was telling him, I said, you see, in my fellowship, my leader said I should confess to you. I've been uncomfortable about this. Thing. He said, I better let them leave you alone for me. Oh. And I'm away. And I'm like, okay. He just wanted to make me feel better. better. You know? Things started dropping. It was so easy to achieve that I felt like I, I felt victorious. Mm. You know, that I conquered that. Mm -hmm. Remember, I said I started this from childhood, mm. and I took this venom into my husband's house. Mm. And if I had continued like that, then I would have instilled the same morals to my children. Yes. You know, because nobody frowned at it while I was doing it growing up in my parents' house. You know, and I felt it was okay to act like that. And I met friends that were like me. You know, so we continued with the same escapade, you know. And then things started dropping. You know, I would just say something and he holds it in high esteem. He said, my mm. wife is not the person she used to mm. be. You wow. know, my husband joined um, a group of friends. They prayed together and all. But their wives are not inclusive. But the friends will say, ah, call her a prayer warrior. She has to be here. Master Katie. You know, all of them <laughs> men, I'll be the only woman amongst them. Wow. When they're having birthday parties, they'll tell him, please bring her. We need somebody to pray. And they, mm. they started referring to me as a pastor. I said, please, I'm not a pastor. I don't have the calling and everything. You know, every weep you is know. a pastor. You know, so I've been... I feel so free. The burden, you know, the burden is lifted up. He mm. sent his children's school fees just last week and he sent, you know, extra. And I'm like, oh, I called my leader. I said, see, this man is still sending me. I'm not adding anything again, you know, but, mm. you know, so I have, I see myself consciously wanting to do something extra good. Mm. You know, I'm no longer nonchalant. I no longer club. You know, the things that used to mean so much to me no mm. longer mean so much to me. Oh. And I am glowing still, oh, you know? Yeah. So it's, I'm not missing anything. I met someone in WWP in Cuba, and she came to me. She's someone that has known me from my past life. Mm. And she said, do you know what? I came, and I want to join Protocol because of you. Mm. I said, why? She said, see, you are. I thought when you start coming here, you'll be like some kind of Christians will see you, you're all glued up and you're serving God. I'm here because of you. Mm. Wow. And I saw that, okay, now my life is a signpost that points to Jesus, mm. that so many people are looking at, I've become a person. So I consciously want to do the right things wow. at all times. My children are doing amazing. My home is beautiful. People around me testify. In my school, the children, I'm a teacher actually, and the children in my school, when they come to school, their parents, some parents will call me and tell me, okay, I think my child is going through this challenge and I'll tell them, okay, it's fine. I'll hold the children, we'll pray together and you know, and life has been beautiful. Thank you so much, man, oh, for answering this call. Thank you. I don't so know, I would have been out there zuzuing, feeling mm. I was doing everything right mm. if I hadn't had an encounter with WWP. Mm. Christianity is so easy here. Mm. I'm doing it with pleasure. I'm excited doing the mm. things that I do. Mm. Nobody is forcing me, no compromise whatsoever. Yeah. Mm. I'm doing the right things and I'm happy doing them. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor O. Thank you. Hallelujah. Mm. You know, when she was talking about being a teacher, I used to love being a teacher, mm. you know? And those difficult cases used to come to me. Because I, I, I you know, Looking good to me is evangelism. Yes, yes. it is, ma'am. Please. I, I don't know who is listening. Looking good is an evangelism. I didn't say looking all opened up. I mean looking good. Really looking good is evangelism. And when I dress well and, you know, come out like that, the students just love me and they come to me with their problems. That's how I knew that I was like a counselor. Mm -hmm. Because the principal couldn't understand. He used to ask, to ask me, how do they tell you all those things? Hmm. Things that they can't tell anybody. They would just open up to me. And I was very strict. So <laughs> I remember my nephew telling me, Auntie, I know you're very strict, but it's you I want to talk to. Hmm. You know? So she has said a lot of things. I don't know who is listening out there who took a bad character from your childhood into your adulthood. The Bible says that when I was a child, I thought like a child. I behaved like a child. But now that I'm older, mm. I have to put childish things That's away. Right. There are some things that you will need to put away. That's what Change Life Talk is all about. Yes. And so somebody is listening out there. She said she was a Christian, 
but clubbing, you know the two don't go together. Mm -hmm. There are some things that don't go together. The Bible says, you are neither hot nor cold. I will spew you out. When you are in between, you, you become, you make Jesus nauseated. Mm -hmm. He wants to pew, he wants to vomit. Let me use the right word. Mm -hmm. So there are things we do when we are neither here nor there. It's clearly written in the Bible. And I'm talking to somebody out there who is neither here nor there. You need to show if you are hot. She said, you know, it makes us Christianity easy. What makes Christianity easy actually is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. When you have embraced the Holy Spirit, here we don't force you. You just find yourself loving on God, mm -hmm. loving on God. And when you love somebody, there are things that you will just naturally, like Jesus speaking, he said, if you love me, you will obey me. Mm. So everybody has a love language. Jesus' own love language is obedience. If you love him, you will obey him. Wow. These are changed lives. Our sister here struggled in her marriage. Why? Because she had put self ahead. Marriage is a testing ground for everything you have heard. When you read the Bible, you know that Bible you are holding in your hands? When you read it, you want to test it. Marry. Then you will know. <laughs> if truly the Bible is in you or you are in the Bible. Is someone listening to me? Yes, ma'am. Marriage is a true test of Christianity. Ask anybody. Proximity will show you who you really are. That's why for me, you know, Paul will say, not I, but the Lord. Then he will tell you, the Lord, not I. Me, not the Lord, I. I am saying, let all men marry. Because it's in marriage you will know who you are. You know, God knows you, but you don't know who you are. Mm. God knows you, but you, you don't know who you are until you are pressed. When you are pressed, then what will come out is you. If they press you, if somebody steps on you, and what comes out is anger, that's who you are. If they press you, and what comes out is lying, is you. If they press you, and what comes out, and you know, one thing I'm going to say here is, loving pleasure too much is a sin. Mm -hmm. It's, it's good to rest. The Bible says he rested on the Sabbath. But when you love resting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, playing all the, it is wrong. Mm. I don't know who I'm talking to. Mm. I would like you to look at the camera and advise somebody. Advise somebody with your life. Oh. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To someone out there. God has helped, God had helped me will help you. Mm. Dealing with temperament is not easy. Mm -hmm. Making excuses for people, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's by the help of the Holy Ghost that someone can come to your house and use up your, turn on your gas and it's boiling water and the water is steaming and heating and the, it's burning. And you're telling the person to turn off the gas and the person is telling you, I want the water to boil. And you're wondering to what degree <laughs> the water should boil to. But because you know that, in that, at that time, if you listen to the Holy Spirit, it will just tell you something. Mm. Like Pastor will always tell us, if you don't, if you want that time you want to say something you don't like, put water in your mouth. Mm. So you can just put that water in your mouth and walk away. Because at that point, you could say something that you cannot take back. Maybe, is it because you're not the one buying this gas? And that was only that one you said that mm. the person will hold on to. That, mm. And the person will now say, hey, and she's a Christian. You know? mm. Midnight, she's shouting here and praying for us. Morning, she's shouting, she's praying. Afternoon, she's shouting, she's because of common gas. Then it becomes common gas. Mm. And someone out there will be like, ah, but you for just ignore him now. Mm. But then, you, because you didn't ignore, you mm. ignite something that might now result to family meeting. Mm. And mm. God mm. will not allow mm. us. God will help us because I know that help. It was not easy for me. My siblings during holidays, I'm telling them, come and help me now. They will say, ah, let me come. I'll go back to my mother's house. I cannot sleep in your house. You are nice, though, but when you start that, you shout. And sometimes when I finish shouting, I go and sit down. I'm asking myself, why did I even shout? Mm -hmm. Was it really necessary? Because you now shout, and in that anger, you might say something that the person will now say, ah, it's just because I didn't sweep the house now. I can always sweep it. So, but with just as you, as you keep 
listening to the word of God as you keep praying. The Holy Spirit just you, they'll be dropping. Mm -hmm. like, I didn't even know when they dropped, when this temperament dropped. I didn't know. It was one day, um, I don't even know what happened, and my niece staying with me. She did something. Mm. And then I walked into the kitchen, I walked in on her doing it, and then she, she was shocked because she expected the usual me to rant. Mm. I just looked at her and I asked her, are you okay? She, she, she raised her head and my cousin was standing beside my cousin. Both of them looked at themselves. You know how God would just help you to see their eyes jammed and they're uh -huh. like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. is she okay? Uh -huh. like they, they, it was me now, they were worried for that. Am I really okay? Mm. Because normal me should have started shouting, do you, do you see this thing? Mm. Should I be? Mm. And then mm. she was like, so when they went, so they went to their room and they were gossiping me. They said, ah, she has really changed though. She has wow. changed, this WWP is working. And then my husband, he looks at me sometimes. Yeah, Babe, it's working. It's so working. it's working. That's what he tells me. And I'm laughing. Because then I'll be angry and maybe he does something. I'm just stamping my feet. I'm waiting for him. I'll do I will react, the what I will say to him and everything. And then when I finish saying those things to him, he'll now sit down. He'll just sit quietly like one child that has been flogged and he'll be like, Honey, you said this thing to me. And then I'll I'll not be so guilty. So but when I started coming, I just realized that those things I'm like, hey, honey. We'll talk about it later. Mm. I will address this later. Or mm. something, I'll just lie down on my bed and I'm just singing. He will now be walking and say, my wife is angry, but she doesn't want to say anything. My wife is angry. God is working on my wife. Oh. And then it's just like that. My home has been beautiful. Wow. It's been wonderful. Wow. It's been amazing. Sometimes I see some things. He will be come and say, oh, honey, you didn't see this. I say, hey. But I saw it. Mm. But I'll just ignore it. Then he'll not come out. I love you. You didn't see it. I say, I saw it. Mm. Like, hey. I thought you didn't see it. I said, I saw it. Oh. I saw it. But it's not worth the trouble. It's Let's not, not talk about the it. Trouble. And it's been beautiful. My in-laws can come now. Everybody is happy. Everyone is good. Not like I used to have problems with them before. But now I like I always tell people I place the sister before the in-law. Mm -hmm. I place the brother before the in-law. Mm -hmm. So I see mm -hmm. make, like I assume that if my sister does this, how mm -hmm. will I react? Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. my first point of call. Before I start seeing it's my no no, I first of all see that she is my sister before the in-law comes into place. Mm. So I just make it the same thing my sister can do and I, and I say, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine. And my in-laws, my brother-in-law, the last of the boys, he's my best friend now. He's the one that if the, mom, the parents wants to reach, they'll call me, ne, your guy, your guy. <laughs> and then I'll now call him and say, Chike, they say you didn't do this, that's a big sis, let me explain to you. Mm. And then my brother-in-law will now call me, hey, what did they say? Wow. And I'll be laughing and I'm like, they say, everybody's waiting for my response from you. And then we are best of friends, he tells me this, tiniest of things oh. like he will tell me this is what i want to do don't tell my brother when we mm. finish planning it we'll tell him <laughs> and it's been beautiful so Hallelujah. i want to thank god for the wp my life has changed wow. my life has changed wow. my life has really changed wow. thank you so this much this is amazing <laughs> this is this is really amazing i just you know while you were talking i was just praying that somebody is actually watching oh. somebody is saying I will make an effort. Mm. I will allow the Holy Spirit. Mm. Let me not just be quiet and just allow things. You know, there are some people that just allow life to go like that. Mm. No. Don't just let life just happen like that. You happen to life. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Um, <laughs> they say birds of the same feathers talk mm. together. Yeah. And it also applies in this setting. If you move with people that are prayerful, you move with the women that are deliberate yeah. and spiritually alert, your life will also tend towards that direction. Yeah. I remember that um, one of the things, I, I'm also very revengeful and I can be very unforgiving. Mm. You do something to me, I'll keep quiet, but i would wait for a, a good time to pay you back. You know, and my husband knows that about me. Even my mother-in-law, she knows. So. But when I started coming to WP, I started hearing things like stop carrying your emotions <laughs> stop on your sleeve, stop being sensitive and all of that. I now started applying. So they say we shouldn't talk, we should keep quiet. Mm -hmm. we, should put water, we should say there's water <laughs> in our mouth. And then my husband would say something that on a very good day, uh -huh. I'm supposed to react. I will not say anything. He will say it again, come back. In fact, there was one day, three times he said he had this. Then he came back and said, did you hear me? I said, mm, I heard you. <laughs> So he went to the parlor, left me alone in the room. And then after that, less than 30 minutes, he came back and he apologized. Wow. And I was like, this thing is really working. It's mm. working. It's really working. You know, like I said, just the small, small things. It's not as if, like he said, it's not as if, 
were not born again. We were born again. Mm. But there are these small, small things that Crisis. we're not putting into. Mm. Yes, we're not sensitive. We're not deliberate yes. about that. Is now making our Christianity look, you know, foolish. Foolishness. And then I remember you always say something like, "Any woman that sleeps all through the night mm. till the morning is foolish." Mm. So every time I sleep till in the morning, I don't pray. <laughs> I wake up, I say, "I was you are foolish," <laughs> you know. And then I started making effort, and I started praying. I wake up sometimes at a particular time, even no matter how deep asleep I am. Mm. Once it's just that time, something will wake me up, and mm. I will start praying. Mm. The first first time, my husband will come, will wake up and say. Is anything the problem? I'll say no. <laughs> so you just want to pray? Yes. And now he's getting used to it. Yeah. So I just want to encourage a woman, someone mm. watching me. Thank God that we even have WWP online. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even if you cannot come connect, connect, God is on this altar. I remember how many times I have come, I've come to this altar like twice. There was nobody. I because I was confused. I didn't know what to do. I came and laid down here. I prayed myself out. Cried. Did everything. Stood up and left. And immediately I got home, I started getting direction on what mm. to do mm. in my business. I've had people come to tell me, hmm, Madam, you're the only one that is not doing things here. People are doing things to, to move sales and all of that in this plaza. I'm like, to do what? In which plaza? Hey. Are you kidding me? And they're like, yes. Someone came and met me and told me he can help me. My printer, that he can help me. I should give him a gold so that he would um, do hey. sacrifice so that I'll make sales, I see. I see, I don't believe in that. I came to this altar and I prayed and I sowed a seed. And my pastor knows some. From my own um, background of um, church, we don't really talk about all those seed sowing things. It's even strange mm. from my own, um, where I'm coming from. Mm. So I'll do my thing in secret, but I would see answers. Yeah. Mm. I would see answers. Definitely. I would see people come and ask me, so what are you doing? So I say, I just go to one church on Tuesday. Come, let's go there. Mm. I go and pray. I don't have any man of God. I don't have any woman of God. I have learned to pray for myself. Yeah. I've learned to wake up in the night and pray when I think, feel that, okay, things are not adding up and things have started adding up. So I'm really grateful for this um, opportunity hmm. and I'm inviting someone. Yeah. You can pray by your, you can yeah, be the prophet yeah. of your life That's and see it. results. Mm. There's nothing more encouraging. It lifts you up to the less level of, yeah. of faith. This year, I started teaching my children to have a journal and write their prayer requests and to be praying on them mm. till they see results. Because I showed them my own. It has happened for me. For every seed I sow in WWP, my leader has taught me to tie it to something. And I tie it, I write it, it I pray and wait. And I've ticked those, those prayer requests come to pass one after the other. So God is here. It's mm. not, nobody is praying, nobody is gathering your prayer points to pray for, to light fire on it. Or pray. You are the one that would pray the prayers mm. when you come here mm. and you will see the results. So I just want to tell someone that God is real wow. and he is here. He is so real. be in to get connected. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is real and he is here. Yeah. He lives amongst us. He tabernacles with us. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the house of God. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, Sister e. The Bible says we should disappear from every appearance of people. That is it. You're either there or you're here. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. no room for compromise in your walk with God. What is worth doing is worth doing well. Mm -hmm. So if you've chosen to take the path of Christ, then you should do it deliberately with all diligence. Mm -hmm. You know, I was zuzuing, but I thought I was right on track. Mm -hmm. You know, but thank God for WWP. Now I have a sense of direction. Now I know what to do. Mm -hmm. Things have started adding up. Yeah. Things fell. Others came up. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a better person and all. And to parents out there, especially mothers, give more attention to your children. Mm -hmm. There are some slacks you don't need to cut as a mother. Mm -hmm. You know, judging from my experience, I know how to do it better. If I was, you know, guided or chastised while I was growing up, that what I was doing was wrong, I'm sure I wouldn't have continued doing it. You know, and I was doing it innocently, and I didn't see anything wrong in it, and I took it to my husband's house, you yeah. know. And these things are seeds. So whatever you allow, you give your children some sort of leverage, they continue doing mm. it. There are, there are seeds you're mm. sowing, and they will definitely germinate. Yes. Now I have deliberately made up my mind. Every time I speak to any, I've never spoken to anybody 
about Christ or about WWP and they turn me down mm -hmm. because of my parents. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you see me and I say, hi, Jesus loves you. Would you like to come to my fellowship? When they are unable to come, they'll call me, ah, hey, I'm sorry. You know, they'll have to apologize because the people like to associate with good things. Mm. Yes, and God true. has really made my life beautiful. Mm. Do you yeah. understand? And I have made up my mind to use it as a point of evangelism. That is, it. That is what I've made up my mind to do. Any privilege you have, please market Jesus. Mm. Yeah. It's worth it. Mm. Yeah. That is what I have for you today. Market Jesus. And whatever your earnest heart desires are, he would definitely see that it comes to pass. Mm. Even if it tarries sometimes, he has mm. every reason why it is tarrying. Mm. It would definitely come to pass. And I also want to use this opportunity to invite somebody to WWP. If you're unable to come in person, you can actually always I'm connect with online. us online. Yeah. On Tuesday is online. You know, you can connect with us and enjoy these blessings. We don't want to be selfish. Mm -hmm. yes. We want other people to yes. come enjoy what we are sure. enjoying. Yes. Sure. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank oh, you, man. Wow, hey, that was amazing. Thank you, man. You know, from what I grabbed there, our lives are evangelizing daily. Mm -hmm. Please, Christianity is not a set of rules mm -hmm. and things you just say with your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's a way of life. Yeah a way of living the bible says they saw the way they were living mm -hmm. and they said these people are christians mm -hmm. they noticed from the way they were living that they had been with jesus can somebody look at you and say you have been with jesus not from what you are saying but from what you are doing mm -hmm. the bible says it's not the hearers that are blessed it's the doers those who have heard and are doing it mm -hmm. and so today to wrap up this whole amazing change life talk, I want to pray for somebody out there who wants help. Help. Because you can't do it on your own. You are the first prophet of your life. You're going to speak into your life. I want to pray for you out there. Someone who wants to surrender to Jesus. You have tried with your life you have tried but child of god you need extra help i want you to bow your heads and let us pray father in the name of jesus i pray for this one this one who is coming to you for help who needs that hand of the holy spirit that hand upon their hand that Lord Jehovah, they will live on targets. Mm -hmm. That they will not be careless in their living. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I pray for that person listening to me that you will not be influenced by the world. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Bible says do not copy the world. The Bible instructs us to surrender our lives as a living sacrifice mm. holy and acceptable that we don't give our lives that are not acceptable to god spirit of god i ask for your help mm. i break the hand of the devil over this one amen in the name of jesus amen i pray that the devil will not be able to influence you any longer. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. And blessed be your holy name forever. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If someone watching me out there, I stop the spirit of death around you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I plead the blood of Jesus over blood your life. Jesus, and I'm Declare that your life is untouchable. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Please go ahead and share this broadcast. Invite somebody. I want you, before you drop, can you just type where you're watching from? Just go ahead and type where you're watching from. If you're watching from the US, the UK, watching from Canada, watching from South Africa, if you're watching from Port Harcourt, from all over the world, please type something. God bless you. Remain blessed and keep sharing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. See you one day.
in WWP sharing your testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. When we men pray to cry just the heart of the